G'day, Alistair here from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video we're going to look at the most basic logging you can add to an application. I have written here a very basic application and if we run it I can click on my method and we get it done and a local method which just updates the form caption. So if we look at my method it calls the my method on DM main, which just sleeps for a third of a second. Okay, so what we want to do is add some logging. So I found the simplest way to do this is add a new unit and I'm going to call this super simple logger and I'm going to add sysutils because I want to declare a variable of I was going to call it log and it is tproc string and then I'm going to define a very simple fun um, procedure which I'm just going to call and we want an implementation for that which is nothing and also I'm going to add a initialization section and Okay, and that's our logger unit. Now, to use this, we basically just need to define a procedure called log. So if I wanted in uh, data main, I can use unit, super simple logger, and I can write Something like this. Um, in fact, why don't we go? Let's be more Delph Delphi um, uh, centric. So, begin method and end method. And now we want that to log somewhere. Now, I'm going to be super lazy because it's a su super simple logger. I'm going to throw a memo on the form, I'll call it memo log, and that's just a CN pack um, component naming. And in fact, why don't I go align client align with margins, and then I'll just set my top margin and 35. All right, let's go 40. Okay, cool. So that now is nice and scalable. And the other thing that will be handy is we will want scroll bars, or at least a vertical one. And now I'm going to log everything to this memo. And so I need a, a method. log dot add s yes. and now we need to initialize the logger and so in here I can say log is assigned log memo and of course I need to use the super simple logger and also in the destructor And on destroy, it's going to expect a null logger, or maybe maybe it should be called null log. And we can in here do that as well. 
And so when we run our application, we get very basic logging. And this is actually, you know, quite good logging. We, we could write, I mean, we could write to a file, do whatever we want to with this logging mechanism. So you don't have to be limited to writing to a memo. You could write to a string list and then say that to a file when the application closes, whatever, whatever you feel is the most uh, <laughs> simple logging that you need. And this is the advantage that data main, although we are logging in form main, there is no dependency of data main on form main because we're using it. So it's a dependency injection or dependency inversion. So we are basically depending on a, I suppose you could call it an interface. It's not really an interface, but um, it's, yeah, prevents us from polluting our other units. So this, this depends on absolutely nothing. This is completely portable between any application. And if you have it included in an application and call log and you haven't set it up, it doesn't fall over because uh, there is a, by default, a logging mechanism which does nothing. So for instance, in your unit tests, you could be, you know, have logging statements, but they could be doing nothing. Or you could use the logging, you, you can make the logging accessible from unit tests, tests to make sure that it's the, the procedures are doing the right things. So that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. This is about as basic as it gets for logging. If you're wanting to do more sophisticated logging, you can do like for free stuff, quick logger in Logger Pro. I think Quick Logger can be installed via the Git Package Manager. Let's see if it log. Oh, it's on styles. That's why. So Quick Quick Logger. It's Logger Pro as well. I'm not sure if that's Oh, and there's another the flexible, uh, flexible and lightweight logging. So there's there's lots of options, but there are actually commercial ones as well that you could take advantage of. But might go into those in another video. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this this useful. I'm Alistair Christie. Do check out my website learndelphi.tv, where you can purchase my books Code Fast in Delphi and Code Better in Delphi, and also my commercial videos, particularly the Mega Pack, which is the most cost-effective way of getting everything. So I'll catch you in the next video.